guys today we're going to be talking about the best most affordable retinol product i believe retinol is one of the most important skincare products you can have in your skincare routine of course after sunscreen and this is because retinol is that product that can really get down there to do the work for you a lot of the skincare products out there just work on the surface but retinol goes down there and actually does the work for you i'm going to be sharing with you what is retinol what is it good for how can you use it? When should you expect to result? Who can benefit from using retinol? And at the end of this video, I'm going to be sharing with you the best affordable, the three best affordable retinol products. And you guys keep in mind, this is not a sponsored video. So every information I share with you in this video are things that I feel can genuinely benefit your skin. So if you're new here, my name is Tawa. I like to call myself the skincare advocate. I also post on Instagram Mondays to Fridays. So definitely check me out there and be sure to follow because I'm a little bit more active on Instagram. So if you're not following already, please go there and follow me. I chat a lot about skincare tips. I'm always online so we can get talking in my DM and in the com comment section. We have a pretty solid family over there if you're not subscribed already please do because i do plan on doing this best skincare on a budget series today we're talking retinol the next one is going to be the best cleanser for a budget we're going to be talking about the best vitamin c serum on a budget the best moisturizer on a budget and the best skincare practice to get you to your skincare goal this 2022 is going to be all about getting all of your goals check and that includes your skin care goals first of all what is retinol retinol is a vitamin a derivative and what this means is retinol is the inactive form of vitamin a the active form is the retin a and the tretinoin if you are if you don't know this already the only thing is the active form is only available with doctors pre prescription and it's very hard for some people to get hold of a prescription especially if you do not have a skin disease or a huge or a severe acne situation going on it's going to be very hard for you to get doctor's prescription for the tretinoin or retin a so retinol is a lot more popular and if i must say i believe retinol is actually better because retinol is gentler is an inactive form that converts to an active form of vitamin A on your skin. So when you apply the retinol in the bottle is an inactive form. When you apply it on your skin, there's an enzymatic action that takes place that converts it into an active form and then it delivers the work for you. So you're getting the exact work you need you're just getting a delayed work of the vitamin a also guys there's an experience to using retinol because it does contain a lot of comforting and hydrating and soothing ingredients so you have an experience you're not just using the product for what it's going to do but you're also getting the experience of you know what the product feels like you know it has there's a way retinols are usually formulated that makes you have that great experience, application experience. Now, what can retinol do for your skin? Retinol can help with skin texture, it can help with pores, it can help with collagen production, which gives your skin that refined look. And this helps to smooth out the fine lines and wrinkles. Retinol is also a pigment inhibitor. So if you have hyperpigmentation, dark spots or sun damage, retinol is that product that can help you fade it out over the course of you know a consistent use finally retinol helps with skin cell turnover and that means it helps to exfoliate your skin so it's a it's a total package to have a retinol in your skincare routine i would say if you have a retinol you don't even need exfoliants you don't need the glycolic acid you don't need the lactic acid and all that of course if you do have acne then i'll say the salicylic acid or benzoyl peroxide are okay to keep in your am routine because you know you can't use retinol with all other active ingredient it is best to use it just by itself in a routine and this is so amazing and this is where you get the anti-aging benefit it helps to turn over your skin to reveal that younger brighter clearer youthful skin so you see this is the product you want to make sure you have in your skincare routine so now that you know what retinol can do for your skin the next thing we want to talk about is how do you use it 
when should you use it when should you expect to result from using retinol a lot of dermatologists say you can start retinol in your 20s but i would say start at 30 just because at 30 is when you really need all of those anti-aging benefits that retinol can deliver but of course if you're that person that had teenage acne and you have a lot of scars going on on your skin then yes it's fine to start in your 20s but um for the most part i say 30 because it's that product you want to probably have in your skincare routine you know you know for the rest of your life pretty much so if you're 30 you start using retinol at 30 i don't expect you to stop at 40 or 50 or 60 because as you get older you begin to get more benefits and you begin to have more needs for this product and that's why i'll say 30 is a good time at 20s you want to be busy having fun and you know there's no time for retinol <laughs> now that you know when you can start using retinol the next thing we're going to be talking about is how do you spot a good retinol first of all retinol like you know vitamin c retinol degrades in light and in air so retinol should be in a packaging that is opaque and that is airtight because when it's exposed to air or light it degrades so it's just like you have a product you've exposed it to light and air it's probably not going to do anything for you so you want to make sure the product you're buying is either in an airtight opaque pump or in a airtight tube those are the two best packaging for retinol products if you have a retinol in a jar or in a cup i suggest you don't really go for it because i don't think you're going to be getting the best benefits delivered to your skin so now how do you apply retinol if you're new to retinol the best way to apply retinol is applying it once in a week and that's applying it i'll say every weekend pick a weekend that you know you have that time do a good cleanse use a toner has to be a hydrating toner an acid-free toner and then let your skin dry up once your skin is dry you can then use your retinol the application style for applying retinol is a firm application you want to make sure you press down and apply firmly because retinol doesn't work on the surface of your skin retinol works underneath the skin and the dermis of your skin so you want to apply firmly all over your skin make sure you skip the eye area make sure you skip the nose the corners of your nose and make sure you skip around your mouth you do not need the retinol on those surfaces those areas are still going to get the benefit but they don't need it on the surface when you apply it here and the retinol goes down into your dermis it's still going to get to those areas where you didn't put it so it's better to just apply it you know around the cheek on the forehead and around the jawline please please this is very important i cannot stress enough how you should avoid having it around your mouth because you're going to get a lot of flakiness a lot of peeling and a lot of redness you don't want it at the corners of your nose because it's going to sit there and cause your skin to be irritated you don't want it around your eyes because the skin around your eyes is the thinnest so you can't have retinol that was created for your face around your eyes if you have concerns around your eyes and you want your eyes to benefit from retinol I suggest you get a retinol eye cream those usually have very tiny percentage of retinol and those are usually formulated with other antioxidants that can give you that benefit without irritating your eyes so it is highly highly important you follow this application step next is you wait for about 30 minutes let your skin absorb the entire product and then follow with a moisturizer that is the first step the second way to apply retinol is the sandwich method and what this means is you want to cleanse your face use a moisturizer and let the moisturizer soak in and dry then you apply your retinol again follow the application step to apply your retinol avoid your lip nose and eye area wait for about five or ten minutes and then follow with a moisturizer third step to applying retinol is the flash method and that's when you do a good cleanse use a hydrating toner make sure it is acid free apply the retinol wait for about an hour when the retinol has soaked into your skin and then you can do a quick rinse do a quick rinse and follow with your favorite moisturizer the reason you're doing this is you're introducing the ingredient to your skin and then you're rinsing it off and you can do this for about two months so that your skin can get 
acclimated to the ingredient before you begin to you know leave it on and you can increase your wait time from one hour to maybe three hours if you're that person that has you know that goes to bed late you can apply it around 8 p.m and leave it on till like 10 or 11 p.m do a quick rinse and use your night cream you're still going to be getting the benefit because whatever needs to get into your dermis has already been absorbed into your dermis so you're just washing what is left on the surface of and you're following with your moisturizer this three application these three ways of introducing retinol to your skin is best to reduce any form of irritation remember vitamin a is a strong skincare ingredient it is considered a medicine and your skin is more likely to have an irritation if you use it incorrectly now the moment we've all been waiting for the three best most affordable retinol products the first one is CeraVe resurfacing serum i love this one because it comes in an airtight opaque packaging and it's in a pump i also love this because it has the soothing and hydrating and moisturizing ingredient that can help you counter what the retinol can cause to the surface of your skin it does have shea butter it has the ceramides which you know CeraVe are very good with and it has niacinamide these three ingredients are great for repairing your skin barrier and it's in this product so whatever irritation or flakiness or dryness that the retinol may cause to your skin this three ingredient will counter it it will deliver the soothing and the hydration and the moisture you need so you're more likely to get the benefit without the irritation using this one so the second most affordable best retinol serum i recommend the versed gentle retinol serum this contains 0.03 encapsulated retinol i love this and what encapsulated means is that the retinol is delivered to your skin in capsules and then it it loosens when it gets into your skin to do the job encapsulated retinol are usually best because they are less likely to cause you any irritation and so a lot of brands have been going that route these days i also love this one because it contains 0.05 bakuchi oil now bakuchi oil is one of those ingredients that mimics what retinol does in your skin and i love that verse to use this in this one it also has shea butter and glycerin which is delivering the comforting benefits and moisture you need so this is a really good one it retails for 21.99 so i love that i probably have a coupon code for this one i'm not sure but if i find one i'm gonna make sure i put it in the description box the third most affordable best retinol product i love to recommend is the notorium complex cream this also has the encapsulated one so it's great you're less likely to get an irritation for it from this because it is encapsulated this also come in the airtight packaging it's in a pump so i love it it also has the shea butter and the glycerin high up on the list so you're getting all the moisture and you're getting your vitamin a however this one does contain 2.5 percent retinol which i think is high so if you have very sensitive skin i would think twice before picking this so i intentionally only gave three recommendations if you know any retinol product that is great and affordable feel free to leave it in the comment section so that other people can see it so guys if you got value from watching this video please give this video a thumbs up it does help me a lot make sure you leave me a comment if you don't have something to say just leave an emoji and please please subscribe and share this video with anybody that you think can benefit from it i'll see you in my next video bye guys Mwah.